when you go out in a community, people ask you, oh, who do you work for? And on Oahu, I'll always tell them I work for Ben Franklin Crafts, even if we have more Ace Hardware stores than we do Ben Franklin Craft stores, because we don't have any Ace Hardware stores uh, on Oahu. So by branding our stores as Housemart, it gave us something people could identify with. When they first discussed trying to brand ourselves, it was mostly because we wanted to tie together our two retail stores with very strong brand names. And also for our growth, how would we want to be known as? Because we had so many different subsidiaries. Housemart is a name that we chose so that we could identify all our businesses as well as our future businesses under one umbrella. It's the same company. Uh, it's still family owned and operated. Nothing has changed. It's just that it's a way for us to unite our stores under one common name. We're really proud. We're really fortunate to have survived for over 65 years. There's so few local family businesses, especially in the retail environment, that have been able to survive. We're honored, we, we feel blessed, we're so fortunate. You know, our company is community-based and we grew because of our communities. Our whole philosophy is really trying to teach next generation. This, this ownership of a business is a responsibility and obligation that if they join, they have to learn to give back. And the uh, success of the business is more important than individually any of us. It's not about how much you can make. It's about the greater good and that's, it's not about me, myself and I, but it's about growing and sharing and um, together with the community. You know, part of our involvement in the communities, we should go out and support the bead shops, the quilt shops, any of the local businesses. I see them as partners, I don't see them as competitors because if we all joined and supported each other for what we do well, there's enough business to share. When we end up competing with each other, yeah, we end up really negating, I think, our ability to service the community in the right way. It's important for us to support locally owned businesses, and one of the ways that we're doing it is through the My Locker program in our stores. It's really neat. It gives local businesses and local crafters a chance to sell their crafts and their handmade treasures in our stores. One of the boxes one day grew and became a competitor. For me personally, I feel thrilled. That's the whole idea of creating opportunity. I'd love to see more local businesses grow and succeed, even if they become competitors of ours. That would be a nice problem to have. It's hard to explain. You know, We've worked hard, but at the same, same time, we feel really fortunate and lucky to be where we are. Why are we so lucky is because, you know, we've had a nice community that has supported us over the years. We've had staff that have worked really hard to help us get here, and so we should be grateful to return back what was given to us. You know what, when, when you do something and you end up reaching for whatever you're doing and you touch one person, it is a very rewarding feeling.